Okay, so this is the mathematical program that we will use to plot the Bayesian surface. Mm -hmm. So Bayesian surface can be divided in terms of the summation of the Bernstein polynomial in U and in V direction. And we have to uh, multiply by the control points right, in X and Y, uh, X and y subscript. Right, and when we use summation, uh, even though the this uh, we have two summations, but in mathematical program you can just simply use the only sum, one sum, right, and then you can just simply um, ranging i from zero to length c p minus one. This is the order length c p is order, right? But in order to make it to be the degree, so you have to uh, subtract by one. Similarly to the case of J, right, from zero to length CP minus one as well. So you can come up with this uh, Bayesian surface. Mm -hmm. And in this example, you will, uh, okay, I, I will uh, define Bernstein polynomial by using the binomial coefficients of N and I and use the power function right power function can be defined by this okay and then we just want um we will plot if we want to plot the surface like this and okay we can use the control point like this right Okay, I will show you the way, right? Control point can be divided in terms of the matrix form, right? Zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, zero, two, right? This one, and then, okay. This is the biquadratic surface, right? Because uh, we have four, or uh, we have three points in U direction and V directions, okay? And then you can use G1 is a uh, one graph fix right, to represent the basic curve, the uh, basic surface. This is a yellow one, right? You have to use parametric plot 3D because surface is a 3D object, right? And G2 will plot the red point, right? Which will represent the, uh, the contour points or the contour net of the basic surface. Okay, you can simply use this one absolute point sites here and the table right tables is point okay and then you can show graphic one and graphic two right and and display the plot range all so you can come up with this basic curve right and using mathematical program you can rotate this one as you wish okay from this figure you can see the red dots that will represent the control point of this basic surface. And basic surface can be represented in terms of the yellow surface like this, okay? And once again, right, if you have the control net, right, that's cover, the control nets will cover all of the surface, basic surface, right? This is the, the property of the convex hull property, okay? But and if you could remember what we have done we have studied um, by uh, PV Tawi Chai, right? About the PIA techniques that we will uh, want to draw or to find the surface. Okay, last time we talked about the curve that will pass through the control points, but similarly to, to, that, to that techniques that we use PLA in order to find the base here surface that's passed through the control point, the given control points like this. Okay, you can see that the, the base here surface will pass through the given control net like this. So this way we will, this one will be useful more than the, 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 the base here curve itself like this. Because if you have the, okay, if you have the low data, that is uh, maybe, for example, that is a terrain, uh, 
right? It's a terrain, and then you can find the control points that represent the elevation of the terrain, right? And then if you want to to simulate the terrain in terms of the surfaces, right? So you can use PIA technique in order to interpolate all the points by using the Bayesian surface, right? So it would be one technique that will be useful in the real world application. Okay, that's all of the Bayesian surface, right? But if you want to represent the Bayesian, oh, sorry, sideball, wang ball, or even for the DP surfaces, what shall we do? So you can just simply change the Bernstein polynomial here, Bernstein polynomial here into side ball polynomial or wang ball polynomial or DP polynomial. And then you can come up with the rectangular surfaces. Okay, that's really simple. And then for the base or for the base surface as well, right? If you want to calculate for the points on the base here surface, you may have to use big O n raised to the power three com computational or uh, the computational complexity, right? Big O n raised to the power three. But for curve, right? O big O less to the power two. But for surface, it will be O big O less n raised to the power three. Okay? And if you want to make it faster, if you want to draw a base surface faster, how can we do? Minka, how can we do? Send point to side. Send point to one before what? Okay, we have to convert um the basic control point into wang ball control point, right? And mm. then use use wang ball, wang ball surface. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way. But how? Okay. I will leave it for, for your, um, so we have the, first of all, the most important thing or the most difficult things that you have to do is you have to convert from Bayesian control net into Wang Bao control net. How can we do? It is very easy, right? You can do the same thing as when you convert basic control point, basic curve into one more curve, but you have to perform one direction at a time. So first of all, we have do we have to convert uh basic control point into one more control point in U direction first, and then you come up with the new control net. After that, you can convert in V direction, and that's all. Do you get my point? That is the easiest way, right? You can think about the conversion like you convert the curve, right? When you convert the curve like um, the cubic Bayesian curve, you have one, two, three, four points, right? And then for the Bayesian control net or the Bayesian surface as well, you can convert four control points at a time. Do you get my point? And then you can come up with new Wang Bao control, control points that when you draw Wang Bao, that Wang Bao control point, the shape of the surface will be exactly the same as the Bayesian surfaces, that Bayesian surface. And that's all. Okay. And the next thing that if you, okay, stop share here, and then we go to this one. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Share. Okay, come back to to Farin. Okay, so um in the book chapter fourteen in Farin, right? The next 
section will be the after the property will be the degree elevation okay the degree elevation is also an important property of the Bezier curve or Bezier surface right if you want to elevate if you want to make your model more flexible so you can just simply use the degree elevation we have the degree elevation for Bezier curve right and how can we perform the degree elevation for site uh, for for the base here surface how do you remember this this formula i divided by m plus one something plus one minus i divided by m plus one and bij right this is very familiar right this is the same, exactly the same as the degree relation for Bayesian curve, right? So what you have to do is very easy, right? Pretty easy. Degree relation in V direction works the same way, right? So first of all, you may have to perform, right? we want to degree elevate in both U and V direction. Okay, okay, the, 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 is, the ACS one is to convert U direction first and then V direction. Right, but you can also elevate both U and V direction at the same time by using this, this formula. Okay, if you understand this formula, so you can uh, elevate, you can perform the key elevation for the surface. But uh, based on my experience, right, uh, they are not significantly different. Okay, so you can follow for the key elevation in U direction and then do follow for degree elevation in V direction, that's all. And then you can come up with the degree elevation of the base here surface, that's easy, okay? Mm -hmm. Any, um, anything else? Um, actually, when you are dealing with the surface, like the most important thing that the most important um, characteristic that you might have to know that is the tangent vector or the derivative at a point. Why do you need to find the derivative at, at some point? The thing is that um, <clears throat> when you want to create the curve, right, if you so the the uh, not the curve the surface right the face ca, uh, the surface can be formed by a smaller piece of plane a piece of plane so if you can find the normal vector that is perpendicular to that smaller plane very small plane right that will form the the surface right so you can find the the whole surface right so in order to find the 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 the, the the tangent vector that is per perpendicular to that plane, right? You may have to find the partial derivative mm -hmm. in U and in V direction. But in U and in V direction will be um, along the curve on the surface. So what you have to do is you have to, okay, this is a partial derivative in terms of U and another one will be partial derivative in terms of V. When you cross these two vector, you can come up with the, the vector that is perpendicular to, to, uh, to the surface at a particular point UV. Let me explain in Thai. Right? อันนี้ไม่ทันแล้วครับไม่ทันคืออย่างนี้ปกติเนี่ยเวลาคุณจะคุณจะวัดเบสเซียเซอร์เฟสใช่ไหมเมื่อกี้ที่ครูบอกก็คือเซอร์เฟสเบสเซียเซอร์เฟสที่สามารถที่จะเปอร์เซ็นต์อยู่ในรูปของเพลนเล็กๆได้รู้จักเพลนใช่ไหมระนาบเล็กๆอะระนาบเล็กๆออกมาต่อๆๆกันมันก็จะกลายเป็นเซอร์เฟสที่มันเป็นโค้งๆถูกปะทีนี้เนี่ยเวลาที่คุณดิฟพาร์เชียลดิฟตามแนวแกน U มันก็จะเป็นตามทิศทางยูพาเชียลเดียบในแนวแกน V มันก็ได้เป็นเวกเตอร์ในแนวแกน V ที่สัมผัสกับเส้นเซอร์เฟสกับจุดบนเซอร์เฟสถูกไหมณจุด UV 
ทีนี้เนี่ยในการที่คุณจะหาเพลนคุณต้องหาเวกเตอร์ตั้งฉากเพอร์เพนดิคูล่าเวกเตอร์เวกเตอร์ตั้งฉากก็หาง่ายมากเลยก็จับเอาสองอันนี้มาคอสกันเวกเตอร์ u กับเวกเตอร์ v ถูกไหมจำได้ไหมเหมือนฟิสิกส์อะเวกเตอร์ u เวกเตอร์ v คอสกันกลายเป็นเวกเตอร์ตั้งฉากก็จะได้ได้เวกเตอร์ตั้งฉากของระนาบที่เป็นระนาบเล็กๆนะจุด u v นั่นเองกลับไปแคลคูลัสหน่อยเนาะอ๋อเวกเวกเตอร์ตั้งฉากของระนาบใช่ไหมครับเวกเตอร์ตั้งฉากของระนาบค่ะอันนี้ distillation is u right distillation is v suppose you want to find the vector perpendicular vector right this is the uh, this vector so you have to find partial derivative in u direction and partial derivative in v direction at this point u c o v c o and then you can get the perpendicular vector according to the point b u u or b c o c o this is the derivative right the direction this is a vector in v direction according to this point this point this point and this point you can see this okay The, the vector yeah. okay This is the slide for the surface modeling, right? Normally, when I start to teach the surface modeling, maybe I have to start from the plane equation. This is a p1 p is equal to u p1 p2 plus v p1 p3, right? This is a plane equation, and then when I extend into x and y x y z direction, that is a three dimensional space, right? We can come up with this one, okay? And then. This one can be written in terms of one minus u minus v x one plus u x two plus v x three. When you but or when you add this term, this term u and this term v together, we can have one, right? If it can sum, if it can be sum to one, right? So that's why it is the affine combination. Okay, this form. The plane equation is also the affine combination. Okay, affine combination means this one plus u, u will be eliminated plus v v will be eliminated. So you can come up with the final result that is one. Okay, this is plane equation or plana surface, right? And then I will go to the quadratic surface. Right, there are several kinds of the. Quadratic surface, the surface of the key two, right? Starting from spheres, ellipsoid, toroid, paraboloid, hyperboloid, right? You may be familiar with this one. This these surfaces in calculus two, right? Starting from sphere, sphere can be divided in terms of x square plus y square plus r or uh, plus square is equal to r square. Okay. And then you can also define this thing in terms of the trigonometric function, right? I'm not in a uh, going to detail about this, right? And then this is an ellipsoid, right? This is an equation of ellipsoid. And we have already studied about the root surface, root surface, right? This one is the root surface. And then I will introduce you the bicubic Bezier surface or bicubic. This is bicubic surface. This is general form of the bicubic surface, right? Bicubic cubic means three, right? So we have three degree three. The highest degree of this surface is three, right? And it can be divided explicitly in terms of u, a, and v, right? And a will be the the point on the On the control net, the point of the control net, and u will be 
you find it from one you you raise to the power one you square and you raise to the power three right this is a by cubic surface and then you can uh multiply them all together and then you can come up with the by cubic okay this is a way to define the hermit by cubic surface right that is um you have to define the the vector together with the points. Right? I'm not going to into detail about this because it's quite complicated. Right? But the, the, the idea is similar to the Hermit uh, curve. Okay, and then I will go to the Bayesian surfaces. And this is the equation of the so, uh, bicubic Bayesian surfaces. Right, and then it can be written like this. And then if you want to define it in terms of the matrix, multiplication so you can extend into like this one minus u raised to the power three three u one minus u square and so on right and this one will be the control net or the control points of the Bayesian curve or Bayesian surface and then you can multiply this right by using mathematical program or MATLAB you can come up with the Bayesian surface okay I think that's all I also give you this. And I will send to line. Okay. Uh, I have a homework, but right? um, you may have to write a program in order to convert from Bayesian to Wang Bao surface. And also you have to write a program, mathematical program in order to, to perform the Dickey elevation. Okay. In order to, to, to ensure that you all understand what I have started, uh, what I have taught you today, right? Uh, you have to try to write the program as a homework. Okay, any question? Okay, come. Okay, now it is um, 8.25, so I will stop here.